I have done several videos on UiPath in particular because it's Kathy Wood's second largest position in one of her funds and if we zoom out to the weekly chart we can see that the weekly buyers level at $13.50 was a very very critical level that needed to hold if price was going to go higher and according to the 13 and the 26 simple weekly moving average in which we had a bullish crossover it was just a matter of time before price eventually broke out and did it broke out indeed uh, this was earnings and on earnings it went so high that it took out the resistance level at $22 without even a pullback now question is can UiPath make you a millionaire that's what we're here to answer and before we continue with analysis we're gonna look at this article so Kathy Wood and her team at ARK Invest are known to invest in some of the most innovative businesses out there one that caught the attention of this author because it's not only ARK's second largest holding across all funds but it's in a space that is gaining a lot of traction so UiPath is a great way to capitalize on the AI again AI trend without getting caught up in the hype its robotic process automation known as RPA software allows users to automate repetitive tasks when AI is added to the platform it increases the number of tasks that can be automated users can also deploy UiPath's AI to monitor employees to detect tasks that may be automated 2024 could be a massive year for UiPath as it's a logical progression in implementing technological solutions to make its users more efficient. Something management teams love. Furthermore, the market opportunity for RPA is expected to explode over the next decade. According to Polaris Research a Market Research, the RPA market opportunity was around $2.6 billion as of 2022. However, they predict it will raise to $66 billion by 2032. So you're going from, um, just say, a, a, a 3x, 3 billion, uh, you're going up 20x in a matter of 10 years. Compared to U.S. Path's annual recurring revenue of 1.38 billion, uh, which rose 24% year over year in Q3, ending October 31st, it shows U.S. Path has a massive foothold in this rapidly expanding market. Now they have blowout numbers and earnings, but it, from a valuation standpoint, UiPath is still cheap. So at the time, UiPath traded under 10 times sales, an absolute bargain. Still at 12 times sales, UiPath isn't overly expensive for the growth it is putting up. However, UiPath isn't profitable just yet, although it's making progress. In Q3, UiPath's operating loss margin was 17%. That marks an improvement over last year's 26% loss margin. This gain occurred because management responsibly grew its operating expenses, which were only up 16% compared to revenue growth of 24%. Now, here's the question that we will get an answer to, potentially. With a massive market opportunity, a fair stock price, strong growth, and a plan to reach profitability, UiPath checks almost every investment box a growth-oriented investor could ask for. So... Can your path make you a millionaire by itself? Maybe, but that's a risky bet if it goes under, which I don't think it is. Because interest rates have just peaked and will start declining, and that's good for any company, in particular growth companies. Your path makes a fast, fantastic pick in a well-diversified portfolio, and its market-beating gains can accelerate your path to become a millionaire over time. So going back to the charts, here's a setup, but it doesn't look like it's playing out as of yet. Or you can say it did, right? Uh, so after the gap higher, this is the gap on the daily chart. Price did pull back, right, to that resistance, which became support now, and it's pretty much been off to the races. And we're going to see that on the daily chart. So this was earnings when you had this gap up in price you had basing basing price respecting the 
13 simple daily moving average and then we had a gap up on earnings this is the pullback I was referring to alright that's a hammer candle price came back um, nearly hit his dipped his toes the upper end of the resistance band and now price is moving higher again I have a short term target at $30 let's zoom back out to the weekly chart now I, again this $30 target is based on these twin tweezers or rejection wicks and that would be right before this support now resistance band at $32 so you always want to take some off right before you get to the target as you can see a rapid retracement um, at the exact target where you anticipate price reversing nevertheless you path is on a path upward and Kathy Woods has nailed this opportunity um, if she holds which I think she will over the coming years thanks for watching subscribe please like the video